So this is Richard for PokerTube and I'm sitting in here with the Full Tilt Poker Series winner Tristan Grischkos from Germany. How are you Tristan? Yeah, I am fine. How are you? Yeah, it's excellent. It's uh, good to good to meet you. Um, yeah. Did you play many of the tournaments in the Full Tilt Poker Series we arranged on PokerTube? Um, yeah, about 8 of 10. I think I registered in 9 but I forgot one and I, I think I just... Uh, well, blinded out there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You you so, had uh, one eight. you had one win, right? Which, which event yes. was that? It was the mixed um, pot limit hold and pot limit Omar. Mm -hmm. um, it was for four hundred dollars, I think. Mm -hmm. And there was also another big cash, which was the PLO final table with with a fourth place place finish for one hundred and twenty six, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. I have uh, I have the the standings here just behind you. I'm gonna bring them up. Um, it's uh, this is the full list where you end up first in four, five hundred twenty-four dollars. We can yes. see. Um, did you did you like the concept we arranged? Uh, yeah, of course. It's uh, obviously a tournament poker. It's a lot of about running good mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So basically, most of the time, the person who runs best will win. Mm. But this time uh, um, it was quite different because there were a lot of people who had decent shots at making the first place. Mm. Yeah, it was very exciting the fight, the last, yeah. the, the last one. So, yeah. so, so you played the last uh, tournament, but uh, went yeah. out early. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, maybe like seventeenth or sixteenth, mm. something like that, from one hundred thirty-five, I think. Yeah, so you got some small money anyway in the last tournament. No, no, no just outside, was, just outside. Yeah, outside. Okay, uh, yeah, it was a big interest. I think all in all, we had uh, somewhere around eight hundred players uh, that I took part in the ten tournaments. That's actually a lot, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna have even more uh, in the next series. Um, yeah. well, uh, tell me about uh, where do you come from? Um, um, I come from southern Germany, but at the moment I'm in, uh, let's say, more of a eastern part of Germany near Dresden, and I'm studying. Environmental engineering right now. Okay, and uh, how long you, have you studied, and, and uh, when will you be finished with that? Do you think? Um, I have been studying for it's my third semester now, and I'll be at least studying for another four semesters. All right, that's good. Uh, until what? the bachelor degree. Uh, how how old are you? I'm twenty two. So uh, what do you uh, what are your plans? What do you, would you like to be when you are thirty years old? It's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not yet, but I think the environmental engineer thing might be the, the right path because um, it has a lot of uh, potential in both uh, engineering and environmental issues. Okay. So it's it's a lot of opportunities, but I don't, don't I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do when, I'm, when I'll be thirty. Will so. you be? Will you consider becoming a poker pro? Um, not yet. Really, um, uh, yeah, no, not yet. Maybe I will, but it's just not uh, giving me. I'm just not making too much, too much money out of it. Mm. So, is this so. A, would you say it's a side income or is it just a, a hobby? Um, both, I think, because um, when I cash big in tournaments, I I usually uh, cash something out, so that's the income. But most of the time, it's a hobby. Mm. Uh, have you been to? Uh, what do you think of PokerTube? Um, I think it's great because it gives us Europeans mostly the opportunity to watch a lot of um, yeah poker shows mm -hmm. from from the US. That's Plus, good. it um, sponsors a couple of uh, it adds a lot of money to well, tournaments on other sites. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Or, so, side, yeah. did, you, did you play the last uh, tournament uh, series from that we arranged together with Full Tilt as well? Um, yeah, the, the Monday Night One, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I played that too. Okay, so so the the, the winner there, uh, Cunego, um, yeah. he he was playing uh, Patrick Antonius, if you remember that. Yes, yes, yeah. Now this time we're gonna have another Full Tilt uh, team member, and uh, yeah. I'm gonna bring up the picture of the full team. Um, and the guy fourth from left, his name is Andy Block. Yes. Uh, do you know about Andy Block? Um, yeah, and 
I actually know a lot about him. I know he is finished second in the inaugural fifty thousand dollar horse event exactly. in 06. Yes. Uh, he's been a member of the MIT Blackjack team, and yeah, he's had a couple of close finishes in big tournaments. Yeah, yeah. So far. Now he's uh, especially well known. He's a very good heads up player. Uh, I think uh, it was 98% okay. against Chipreese uh, in a spot. I think uh, Chipreese had one out to to uh, stay alive in that uh, heads-up Yeah, battle. I think as far as I remember, he's, he had Chipreese all in like three times with the best hand. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Okay, so uh, what do you think of uh, playing guy like Andy, Andy Block? Um, I'm not really sure t what to expect yet because I don't... Um, well, <laughs> I don't have too much experience from uh, playing Mix Omar hold them heads up sit and goes. Mm. Well, we, yeah, we decided that since uh, I think it's a it's a nice test not only to play no limit hold them now we have pot limit yes. hold them and pot limit Omaha as as in yeah, the last. Yeah, it's one. it's less um, less shoving in the uh, when the blinds are high you, can, you cannot just ship it in. That's right because it's pot limit. So so it becomes yeah. a little bit more. Uh, skillful, uh, yes, yes. we we think. Still, the, uh, I mean, the last match I think they played for almost an hour. Patrick and Conego and uh, and Conego that's, that's managed to quite win. Quite long, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's that's good to see that it's not just uh, all in uh, from the beginning and five minutes yes. later it's over. Yes, yes. Um, that's, uh, so you have a chance to win thousand dollars, right? That would be nice. Yes. Yeah, of course. Okay, we, we, we aim to, to, uh, to have this tournament uh, 8.30 next Sunday, Central European time. Is that good for you? Yeah, yeah. it would be November 29th, wasn't it? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah um, that's fine for me. Yeah. And we're going to try to get, try to make an interview with Andy to see what he, f he feels like uh, yeah. uh, meeting a guy from, from Germany called Tristan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, should be fun. Okay, ni okay, nice. Um, I hope we we're gonna get a lot of railbirds and uh, a lot of comments uh, from. I think a lot of people are interested in seeing this battle. Yeah, yeah, of course. I was too last time. Mm, I was interested too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, unless we talk before that, uh, Tristan it was nice talking to you and good luck in the match. Yeah, thank you. Nice talking to you, Rico. Okay. See you soon. Bye. See you. Bye.